I got it. Okay, so what we're doing here is some uh, exhaust emissions fertilization uh, in the form of NOx. So what we're doing here is we're taking our exhaust from our tractor and we're running it through a cooling system. And if you come around to the front here, you can see the air cooled here. And this is a baffled system, so it goes through three different sectors as it's cooled. And then <clears throat> it's sucked by fan and pushed back through this uh, high temp hose. And injected right into the soil. And, and sucked by a big fan back into here. We don't have it hooked up now. Right. There'd be a hose sucked here. And we'd push it back into this distributor here. And then it'd go to each and every shank and be in, injected into the ground, which is giving us uh, It's called carbon sequestering. And it wax into the ground, yep. exactly. Yeah, we're not polluting the air, we're sticking it yep. in the ground, and the plants will benefit from the nitrous oxide. And it helps reduce our reliance on, on fertilizer. And it's fertilizer. supposed to re release Commercial natural rate. phosphorus that's already in the ground, to, so the plant can use that as well. Right. You know, Bill, we're just loaded with phosphorus here. And maybe you are in Pennsylvania too, but here, we know the, Tomorrow, the, the phosphorus is going. here, but it's tied up. And what the... Society from Notre Dame has told us, the science folks, they've told us that when that NOx hits that soil and it's moist, that it in fact entraps the phosphorus, um, suffocates it, and allows it to be regenerated. There's calcium surrounding the phosphorus and, right. and releases the calcium so the phosphorus can escape. And uh, what horsepower is this tractor? That's three, seven, 375 horse. Well, it output at four times. Four, yeah, four times. How many acres a day can you run this on? Oh, 250. Not 250, 300 in a good long day. Okay, we're, we're up here in northern, north central Montana. And uh, this... Let me start it up. Don't say how it sure, works. why don't you start it up? Again, we're uh, on the Milk River Ranch as part of Highland Hill Farm, and uh, we have hunting, fishing, camping, archaeology, hunting, and paleontology here in Montana. And we also have big tractors for you to come and play with. Give us a call at 215 651 833. This is the entrance to the Milk River Ranch. It's outside of Haver, Montana, about four miles south of the Canadian border. Well, welcome to Augustine Grain and Cattle. Uh, we produce cattle, small grains, chickpeas, beans, lentils, uh, so a wide variety of, of products here in the north central Montana. Okay.
How many acres are on this this particular ranch? Uh, we need to be inclusive now, Bill. Yeah. Okay, there's about 18,000 acres here total. 18,000 acres. Yeah. And you're right along the Milk River, just south of Canada, the Canadian right. border. Yep. We adjoin the border for seven miles. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. We're standing on our deeded ground here, and we've run through a plethora of dinosaur artifacts. Often the upper cliffs, these 200-foot cliffs up here, is a lot of archaeology, whether it be teepee rings. Uh, but as you can see, we're standing about 225 feet straight down into the Milk River. area. One of the few left in the country. So, and the deer and the antelope play here as well. So, it's a beautiful day here in north central Montana. Hold it. And it's a and it's a beautiful day to have our friends here to take a look at what's on their property and ours. And if you want to come hunt hunt for archaeological or paleontological items, give us a call at 215-651-8329. We're setting up hunts for digging at teepee rings. We also have uh, uh, tours where you can go and find bones from dinosaurs. And we guarantee that you'll find a dinosaur bone. Or if you don't, give me a call because something's wrong. Because they're all over this area. And there's a lot of exploring to be done. So again, give us a call at 215-651-8329. We have daily rates. We also have rates for universities and uh, museums to come and do digs, major digs. Give us a call, 215-651-8329. Again, this is Mike, and he's over top of a dinosaur bone find. And you can see the bones going right on down the hill here. And they're spread all out along here, so it might have been quite an extensive dinosaur field right in here. And there's another bone right there just sticking right out of the ground. So if you don't believe that we have it, you, you're in for a surprise. It's here. Give us a call. 215-651-8329. There are literally thousands of acres to explore for hunting relics and dinosaur bones. Call us. 215-651-8329. This is a trolley that goes across the Milk River. If you're a real thrill seeker, there's a trolley here to tempt your imagination. Give us a call at 215-651-8329. That's a big piece of bone right there. There's huge pieces of bone out here. Yep, there are. It isn't just all slivers. Right. But a lot of this material is very fragile, and if you go to try and dig it out, it's going to just disintegrate. So when we have people here, if you want a little tiny bone fragment, you'll be able to get it, but we're not going to let you dig into the side of the hill and create an erosion gully and, and things like that. Two nine. And uh, we'll set you up. These are four foot emerald greens in pots. Just give us a call at 215-651-8329. We also have a lot of large arborvitas and, and field-grown trees and shrubs here at Highland Hill Farm. And we do specialize in delivery and planting. So give us a call, 215-651-83. These are our four-foot emerald greens that we have here at Highland Hill Farm. We can deliver and plant these all up and down the East Coast. If you need quick, instant privacy, this is a tree to consider. We also have over here Leland cypresses and Green Giant Arborvitus, which make great instant privacy. So give us a call at 215-651-8329.